Hi everybody, this is Emily with Local Tasting Tours. Welcome to our podcast. For the Christmas season, Local Tasting Tours is featuring a package with uh, handmade chocolates and two culinary tours for the 2013 season. You can find it at Uncommon Grounds on South Park Street. It's an exciting podcast today. We're at the Halifax Seaport Farmers Market and we're at the Maritime Cornish Pasty Stand with the owner, co-owner of Maritime Pasty Company, Leah Jones. I'm really excited to taste your special Nelly Mott's ginger wine today, as well as one of your uh, most popular pasties. Lee, I know you have a lot of loyal clientele here at the market who love your pasties. It's a, a family-run business, and it's following an English tradition, is that right? That's correct, and we love it, and we love Cornish pasties, and we love our customers. And these are like little handheld gems, sort of like lunch in your hand. Can you tell me about some of the traditional fillings? Well, the most famous pasty is obviously the traditional pasty, which um, miners used to take down the mines and they used to heat it up on um, their shovels. And then they'd eat their pasty and when they finished, they would throw away the bit they'd been holding, which is the hand crimp that we do when you come to the market, you'll see that. And that had arsenic on it. So they would throw that away and they would have at the middle. I'm also excited that we get to taste your Nelly Mott's ginger wine today. And uh, I've heard the fun story behind this. This is a definite family tradition. This uh, ginger wine was uh, made by my husband. His foster mother was called Nelly Mott. So we named it after her because she used to make it every Christmas in the house and he used to help her. So he started to try and recreate that taste. And so we make it from freshly juiced organic ginger. And your special eggnog recipe that you're featuring this Christmas, it features some of the other market vendors, is that right? Yes, it's a mixture of Fox Hills milk, their eggnog gelato, our ginger wine, and of course, Ironworks rum which gives it that extra kick. Our guests today are Sheila Duffett and Joel Sullivan, two artists who operated the Seaport Farmers Market weekly. And right now it's exciting because over the holidays they've got a special art exhibit at the Nova Scotia Archives at uh, University and Roby. Sheila, can you tell me a little bit about the, the art that you sell at the market and that you're exhibiting in the show? Would you call it folk art? Uh, some people call it folk art. I'm not sure what to call it. I've it's been called illustrative art before, and some aspects of it could be considered fine art. Uh, really, it's, it's however you perceive it. It does have bright colors and cheerful themes and um, a simple uh, sensibility to it. It's very primitive in some ways. And Joel, is it true that you use recycled materials for your artwork? Um, I do occasionally use recycled materials. I don't like to call it recycled material art because sometimes if I don't have any material I'll just buy it. When I think of your work I just think of these large metal figures. What are some of the the subjects that you've used? Uh, I like to use the human anatomy as a subject. I'm, I'm, it's kind of my favorite. I do a lot of scrap sculptures and I usually do a lot of um, faces and heads and arms, robots. And there are a couple other artists featured at the Quattro Art Show. The other artists are Dana Scarola and Laurie McDonald. And Laurie is a, a woodworker and she does amazing things with wood. She, she finds things in it that uh, most people probably wouldn't see. She's taking it to a whole different level but keeping it really natural. And uh, Dana does, uh, I suppose you'd call it surf art. Her work is connected to the ocean and uh, seascapes, landscapes. Um, but what's interesting about this show is that the four of us have completely different styles, but they work together really well. Somehow it all comes together and makes for quite an exciting and interesting show. And the feedback has been terrific. Uh, it's world class, I'd say. I've heard that tossed around a few times, so I'd encourage people to come out and see it, see what's uh, in uh, their own backyard. And I understand that Quattro is going to be up until uh, December 31st, so uh, it's, a, it's a really neat opportunity for people to find some really unique art um, right here in Halifax. And people on Saturdays can find both you and Joel right here at the Seaport Market. We're having a little taste of the Nelly Mott's wine. I love this. I just picture really enjoying this with a good steak dinner. Like it has some body to it. And I think there's a little cayenne in the room. There is cayenne and that gives it that extra kick. Sheila, you've tried this before, have you? Oh yeah, it's absolutely delicious. It's really good mixed with um, alcohol. 
No, but that's the story is they made it as a prohibition drink? That's right. It was originally made by the women of the church to stop alcoholism in England, but it failed because everybody adds brandy or rum. And it does taste really nice heated up with that as well. These pasties are so filling. They really make for a perfect lunch. They keep these warm at the market. But uh, can you take them home? We freshly bake throughout the day at the market. And you can buy them frozen from us and actually bake them at the house. I really get the aroma. This is the cheese and bacon pasty. And you can really smell the onion. The bacon is from uh, Meadowbrook Farm. And they actually feed um, their piggies um, flaxseed. So you're getting omega-3s, omega-6s and omega-9 in a really weird way. Okay, Joel, I can tell that you're enjoying this. I like the potato. Is it potato? You can taste some potato in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's very scrumptious. Very, uh, yeah, that's a good word for it, scrumptious. What was your take on it, Sheila? Um, rich and delicious and crunchy and luscious and they're, they're awesome. Absolutely delicious. I love the steak in Stilton too. It's just, they've all got such a buttery. The foodies love the steak in Stilton. Joel, uh, can you think of a favorite food from your uh, your childhood? Sloppy Joe's. <laughs> Did your mom make those? Yeah, it was a pretty easy make. We had five kids, so it was a quick make and uh, just loved it. Peanut butter and grape jelly sandwiches on white bread. That's so old school. It is. It, there's yummy. There's a reason for that. <laughs> Uh, now we every Saturday morning I'd have we'd have that and watch uh, cartoons. Leah, do you have a favorite locally owned business in town? Um, Rusty Hinges in the Hydrostone. I just love their furniture. And Sandra, uh, who owns it, designed our um, booth, and it's all made from reclaimed wood. Yeah, there's some wonderful. There's lots of bird houses up there too. Bird houses, but the, <laughs> there's lots of beautiful tables, and you can get things designed to to what you require. For example, this booth, our sign, that's an old door. And they've made uh, a chalkboard out of that with those big heavy chains. It just looks so rustic and lovely. And the Ikebana shop on Quimpool Road. It's a, it's a little Japanese store and they've got all kinds of interesting things. It's a gift shop and they, they give the Ikebana flower arranging classes upstairs. And inside, it, it's like stepping into a different culture and, and they've got such interesting items, gift items, small handcrafted things. and. Yeah, it's a wonderful store. A lot of people don't know it exists. It's just tucked away on the um, north side of the street. Um, Joel, how can people find you online? People can find me on Facebook. Um, they can find my website. JoelSullivan.com? Yeah, that's right. And the Facebook is? Iron Designs. And Sheila, uh, you have a number of websites and ways that people can find your work. Yeah, I suppose the easiest is Facebook. It would be SheilaDuffett.art on Facebook or here at the Seaport Market or just Google Sheila Duffett. And Leah, you have a couple of special treats that we talked about for Christmas, your little cakes. Yes. We have um, the Eccles cakes, which people can buy from us freshly baked throughout the day. They have caramel, raisins, nutmeg and cinnamon. And it's just nice to give somebody something warm and uh, have that home baked taste. And they're only $2 each. And these other little cakes, um, you've got to say the word because I don't know it. Titchy pies, it means small pies. And they're little tiny, oh, Bits of gorgeousness. <laughs> they have our fillings of cheese and bacon, cheese and onion. We have the fish um, little titchy pie, and we have the curry ones as well. And they can be cooked in 15 minutes. Um, you just buy them from us frozen. Again, they're only $2 each, but they're so easy to make, and they taste like our Cornish pasties, but in a miniature version. They sound like they'd be perfect for like a Christmas party. And if you can uh, make orders on our Facebook page, just message us or on our website. Do have people ever call you for orders? as well? Yes, there's the phone number which is 877-4144 and you can contact us anytime. Thank you everybody so much. I really appreciate you taking part in this and happy holidays. This is Emily with Local Tasting Tours. Take a tour, take a bite out of Halifax.